How do I age well? It's something I often ponder on. My name's Rosaria Barreto, and I want to find out what it takes to live a healthy and happy life as we age. I'm a clinical exercise specialist, and for the past five years, I've worked with nearly a thousand older adults, and as a result, have had the chance to talk to a diverse range of happy and healthy and not so happy and healthy people in their 70s, 80s and 90s. And I want to know what it takes to be able to look back and confidently say, mm, I lived an amazing life. Why not join me on this exploration on what it takes to live happily and healthily and learn how to age well? So this is my first podcast episode of How to Age Well. This isn't the first podcast that I'm doing, though. I did have another podcast called Mature Movers. So if you'd like to go and check that out, please feel free. I am going to be talking about a variety of things during this podcast. I am going to talk about what my life's about, and I'm also going to use that to explore how I can age well and optimize my chances of being really physically, mentally, and socially independent by the time I reach 100. I am going to kind of give myself a bit of an introduction. So I am the eldest of nine children, the classic go-to shocker that I like to, to say when I meet someone. Um, I recently got married um, to my Prince Charming, oh, cringe, um, and I am a homeowner and a dog mum, and I am the mere age of 27. Um, I have always been really, really ambitious and, and have tried to achieve so much by the time that I get to 30 and and I think that's put so much stress on myself and I think society puts this pressure on on all of us to to really like achieve 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 and something I've been reflecting on over the last few years is why why do I have to achieve all these things by a certain age why is there a Forbes 30 under 30 like why is it so impressive if by the time you're 25 you've done this this and this I don't know. And I would like to find out and maybe change the conversation about what about if we just praise people and and support people for just achieving things in life. And I think we'd be a lot happier and a lot less stressed and anxious about success, careers, ambitions, lifestyle, if we really just focused on the present. I am very much into mental and physical well-being. I have been an avid exerciser from a very, very young age. I always like to play sport and I love exercising. Um, I love running. I love going to the gym. I go to a gym called 3M. Whoop, whoop. And um, it's a kind of combination of like CrossFit and um, functional and conditioning training. And it is literally like my medicine. Um, it keeps me well. And my background is clinical exercise. So Aside from actually loving exercise, I know about exercise. I did a degree in sports science um, at the University of Portsmouth. I um, have done various qualifications to support that vocationally. Um, and I started my first business in 2018. Um, and that business was basically a personal training company for people with long term health conditions. So I, I really noticed that I wanted to um use my knowledge and passion for exercise to help people. I am now working on scaling my business. And part of that is this podcast. It's reaching people who are really, really valuing their well-being and and want to focus on it, focus on your well-being from more of a well-being, age positive approach rather than the aesthetic element. I think there's a massive push around looking a certain way and and being a certain way and and I think if we change the the narrative around exercising for just movement then I think maybe we might be feeling a little bit more motivated to actually get up and go and do something so during my podcast I'm going to be talking about lots and lots of different things I am going to discuss um like my own thoughts around aging, my own experiences around aging. But I'm also going to be talking to some amazing um, people about their skills and their talents and how they're using that to help people age well. Um, I'm going to also be um, exploring different research and um, like science reviews and, and different things like that. And if there's anything you have 
um, that you want to understand more or you'd like to listen to, then please get in touch um, and I will get back to you. And hopefully one day you'll hear an episode of me talking about that exact thing. So today's podcast episode is more about me. Yep. (laughs) And I'm going to just briefly continue to discuss where I'm at when it comes to aging well. So I am somebody who exercises or tries to exercise at least five times a week. I walk my dog every day for an hour and I also try new things like yoga and Pilates and I'm I'm really open-minded. But aging isn't just about exercise, although it would be much easier if it was for me. <laughs> um, there's lots of things that come into that where it's environmental stresses, family stresses. Um, you've got your like wherever you live, like what the air you're breathing in and, and different things like that. And I, in the past, have panicked about not doing enough in my life before I die, worrying about wasting time on earth. And whilst I think life is short, I also think it's very, very long. And I think that we need to work on just being present, but also ambitious and finding a really great balance. And I'm not talking about career ambition. I'm talking about life ambition. I'm talking about things that make you happy and things that you love to do. So whilst I talk on this podcast and I hopefully grow and and improve at my own monologue, um, I'd really, really like to um, also grow and learn myself about how I can create more of a balanced approach to a healthy aging. Okay, so I think that's good for my first podcast episode. It's short and sweet. Um, I don't really want to mumble about too much today, um, but the next few episodes will be a little bit more specific to a certain topic. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, and please don't forget to, to like this, follow the podcast, and I will see you, or you can listen to me, or see me on YouTube if you fancy. Um, soon. My name's Rosario Barreto and thank you so much for listening to How to Age Well. If you've enjoyed the podcast, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a moment to leave a review. Your feedback means so much and helps others to find out about how to age well.